everybody, I'm Marty Donetio here at 1089 News. Tonight around 4 o'clock we will be having a massive lightning storm. To be prepared, close all blinds and shades and unplug appliances. Move dead tree branches away. Now I'm going to answer some of our viewer questions. How are air temperature, wind, and temperature prior to the storm? Well, you see, these are like key ingredients to a lightning storm. For lightning to happen, you need low air pressure close to the ground and higher air pressure up in the sky. As for temperature, it's important for it to be warm near the earth and cooler up in the sky. Last but not least, wind is usually stronger in the air, but it can also be very windy near the ground. Now for our next viewer question. What changes potentially occur in wind, air pressure, humidity, and temperature in, during, in the case of a storm? So basically, there's a lot of humidity. For temperature, it's usually very warm near the ground and much, much cold, cooler up in, the, in, up in the sky. For air pressure, it's lower near the ground and higher up in the sky. As for wind, it's far more gusty in the sky, than it can, but it can be very windy down near the ground. Thank you, and that will be the end of our viewer questions. Today I have for you guys some weather instruments to help you understand how we, get, how we predict the weather in every day. This is a barometer. It measures the, um, the air pressure. When there's high air pressure, the straw will move up. When there's low pressure, it will move down. This is a rain gauge. It measures the amount of rain in a certain point of time. Now I have some lightning graphs, pictures, and maps for you. Unfortunately, lightning kills or injures more people than tor tornadoes or hurricanes. As you can see, these smaller bars at the bottom are the, are the total amount of people's killed, people killed from 1980 ranging up to 2015. These lo larger bars are all the people who have been injured and not killed. And that's just in Colorado. This weather map shows the cloud to ground lightning incidents in the continental U.S ranging from 1997 to 2012. All this white right here, that's where the most cloud to ground lightning incidents occur in that time range. These two pictures behind me are pictures of some of our much larger lightning storms in Colorado. We might be ex experiment experiencing some of the things like this tonight. Stay prepared and have a nice night.